Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. Today we are gonna be reviewing the full ColourPop and Harry Potter collection. We have the liners, the palette, the lipsticks and lip gloss, the lip balms, highlighters. I am here for it, I cannot wait. But if you're new here, hi, my name's Anna. I have a little bit four times a week here and I talk about all things beauty. So let's go ahead and get right into it. My dog is snoring in the background. So if you can hear her, <laughs> she's quite sweet. I am so excited when I saw this collection. I just got so excited because I love Harry Potter. Yeah, I bought the full collection. I didn't get the PR box because I thought like it was kind of a waste. Like I don't really need a PR box when I can just get the full collection. So normally I don't get the full collection from ColourPop just because I don't know. I have to like really like everything in order to get it. Like what, especially with these like branded collections like Rudolph or Hocus Pocus, which they're coming out with Hocus Pocus uh, 2. They're doing a collaboration with that. And I'm so excited to see what that is. I have done my makeup to just like everything. I feel kind of like weird. Like I don't have any lip products, any um, highlighter, not even any setting spray. Yeah, let's start off with lip balms. <laughs> I'm actually looking on the website everything is still in stock. So that's a good sign for you guys if you're interested in it. The balms retail for 10 bucks each. Um, they're, they're obviously like, you know, of each house. I have to say though, the packaging on this, like each item is just so detailed. Like, I, let me show you. So we have the Gryffindor 4-3 Beauty Lip Balm, right? Look at the detail on that. I love it. So um, each one of these has a different scent associated with it. And these are actually really quite detailed. So this one is, so Gryffindor is butterbeer flavor. Never had butterbeer. I know they have it at Universal, but I've never been to Universal. I'd like to go. But the scent on the website says that it is eggnog with notes of island rum, sweet ginger, clove, cinnamon, and aged vanilla. And these are all clear and then the packaging on it this is super cute and even on the inside of the packaging like oh my gosh so adorable um, the next one we have is for Hufflepuff and oh my goodness this is so cute and Hufflepuff like they each have their own like treat from the book series, which is super cool. So these are the Popping Pixie Wing Dust flavors. So it's notes of fluffy marshmallows, vanilla bean, wild coconut, and juicy berries. It is very vanilla based. I would say this is like a sweet cinnamon, you know, like pumpkin spice, clove type of, type of thing. Again, these are all clear, but oh my gosh. Hufflepuff, the badger, so cute. Slytherin, um, I, Fun fact, when I have taken the quiz on like what house I am, I am technically a Gryffindor, which is a Gryffindor and Ravenclaw. I think Logan is a Slytherin, my husband. This one is basically a minty scent, but it says it's peppermint toad flavored. So notes of wild peppermint, garden spearmint, and hints of clove. This is very nice, it's just so minty. And I should say on each of these, it has the um, trait. So Gryffindor is courage, Hufflepuff is patience, Slytherin is pride, and then Ravenclaw is wit. So Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw might have to be my favorite house, but I'm like a mix of Ravenclaw and Gryffindor. So Ravenclaw is the sugar quills flavored. So it's notes of blackberry, woodland, basil, and hints of spice vanilla bean. Basically this smells like berries, <laughs> like a mixed berry, blackberry, raspberry type of scent. Like This might be my favorite out of the four. These are the lip balms, they're so cute. Let's go on into highlighters. I'm just gonna um, put one of these on for you guys. So there are three of them. We have Buckbeak and then Dobby and Hedwig. So let's kind of go through them. So Buckbeak, first off the packaging, how adorable is this? And these highlighters, let me just make sure I have the price correct. I think these are 12 bucks each if you buy them on, an, on individually. So I was kind of expecting more for the packaging for some reason, like on the actual component, 
but it's fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, let me just peel off that. But this is so beautiful. These are all Super Shock highlighters. And then Dobby. Dobby is kind of like the more like golden one out of the three. So we have kind of like a cool tone champagne, the golden, and then um, we'll get into Hedwig here. Oh my gosh, my dog is just snoring. We went on a pretty long walk. Um, so she's like really tuckered out. These are so beautiful. The Super Shock highlighters have to be some of my favorite, but like look how, at the detail here. We have the socks for Dobby, like that is so cute. And then Hedwig, Hedwig has to be one of my favorite characters from Harry Potter. I love her. And this is like a white with like a blue purple like dual chrome to it. So super, super beautiful. I think we're gonna use this one today. I will be doing a, you know, get ready with me with the other items. Cause obviously like I'm not gonna be able to use all of them today, but oh my gosh, we have to use this one today. You know, this would have been a highlighter I would have used back in 2017, maybe. This is so pretty. And these Super Shock um, highlighters, I should say, are very creamy, very glowy, and they just kind of melt right into the skin because they are that cream to powder kind of texture. So in real life, I can see the blue purple like duochrome. In camera, I can't, so that's fine but these are so cute, highly recommend. I'm gonna try on the lip products and then once we do an eye look, I'll pick out the best one to go with each one. They are all named after the main characters. So we have three, what are these? Lux Velvet Liquid Lipsticks and we have one Lux Gloss. So this one is H. Potter for Harry Potter. Look at the detail on this. This is so beautiful. Same kind of um, interior packaging like the lip balms had. And this is kind of like a deep red. These are more like one of these lipsticks that like almost, almost feels a tad bit moussey. I don't know if, the, if that's the best way to describe them or not. And they don't really dry down all the way. Oh, I look weird. <laughs> this is so pretty. Obviously um, the application Obviously like the application isn't gonna be like 100% there, but this is really, really beautiful. Next one is gonna be R. Weasley for Ron Weasley. Oh my gosh, look at this little art they did. And you know what, I really like this one because I like how they played off like that bright red hair and they did like an orangey lipstick. You know, it's not orange, but it is like a deep orangey shade. Perfect for fall, by the way. Amazing. This whole collection is just perfect for fall. Oh my god, this application is just horrible. But there we go, there is Ron Weasley. And I, I appreciate the variety. I, <laughs> I appreciate that they're not all just nudes. You know, we have like one red, that's like actually like a deep red. We have this like orangey shade, which is gonna be good for fall. Also, this whole collection is perfect for fall. I think they picked a really good time to launch it. We have H. Granger for Hermione. Such cute artwork, once again. I like how we have a little thing of Crookshanks on there, her wand, a book, like I think that's great. Um, we have a nice warm nude, which, perfect. Like this is exactly like the nice gradient that we need. Obviously, um, H. Granger is the most wearable out of the collection. But this is really pretty. All right, so the one lip gloss we have here, I thought this was kind of interesting that they did Luna Lovegood. I thought that was a really nice little, you know, touch. I love the artwork on here. Again, she's holding a quibbler, which, perfect. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything else from her wearing her glasses. This is a very interesting lip gloss. It's, it kind of reminds me of the Hedwig highlighter where it has like that purple blue duochrome to it. This is the um, Lux Gloss formula. And you can just see, it's very, kind of tall on camera. In real life, it's very duochrome -y. You can definitely see it. Um, oh my gosh, I forgot to mention. 
These boxes each have a quote on the side. So Harry's says, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Ron's says, swish and flick. Hermione says, of course, it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. And Luna's says, you're just as sane as I am, which I think is really cool. There we go, that's a lip gloss. I really enjoy ColourPop lip glosses. They're a tad bit more sticky than, nor than like something I would usually use, but I like them still. So there we go. I'm gonna put on a lip balm really quick. Let's do Ravenclaw, because that was a lot of swatching. <laughs> And I also appreciate that these lip balms aren't tinted. They're just like clear lip balms. Like, thank you for doing that. <laughs> Let's go into the palette here. First off, the packaging. They just like killed it with the packaging. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is like the largest, one of the larger ColourPop palettes that I own. Like there is a lot going on here. You have all these different colors, you know, from Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. So I like that gradient. Um, I wish there was a mirror, but usually ColourPop's palettes don't come with a mirror. Um, you have like the Hogwarts crest over here. So this palette comes with 24 shades. These are also like fairly large pan sizes, which I always appreciate. <laughs> all right, for shades, we have Lumos, Floating Candles, Marauder's Map, Liquid Luck, Whomping Willow, Hufflepuff, Golden Snitch, Pumpkin Juice, Mandrake, Invisibility Cloak, Butterbeer, Gryffindor, Enchanted Keys, Patronus, Forbidden Forest, Ravenclaw, Gillyweed, Great Hall, Nimbus 2000, Slytherin, Elder Wand, Hungarian Horntail, Sorting Hat, and Dementor. I never realized how many how much many of these terms are trademarked because like half of these are trademarked in here. Like Butterbeer. Who know butterbeer and pumpkin juice were trademarked so um, we're gonna zoom forward here we're gonna do a look and yeah we're gonna get into the eyeliners here in a little bit i am hoping to use at, ooh, at least two of them so um be on the lookout here let's zoom on forward and do a look with this palette start off i'm gonna go in with whomping willow which is of course like the most basic shade i could have picked I want to use as many shades as I possibly can for this look. Just to, like try out as much as I can. But obviously we're going to be using this palette again. I really have been enjoying ColourPop formula in general. You know, this formula is no different, which I always appreciate. Like, thank you. <laughs> because especially with like limited edition launches and stuff, brands don't always use the same formula and ColourPop does. So thank you for that ColourPop. Here we go, so pretty. Um, love the blendability here. Let's go into Mandrake, which is this one. Just a little bit deeper brown here and then we're gonna get into some color cause I wanna do some blue and hopefully, I don't know. Some red, maybe? But as you can tell, like, this formula, like, just me blending it out here is speaking for itself. It is so nice. 100% this is amazing. Okay, let's get into some color here. Um, <laughs> I think I want to put, like, maybe a gold on the lid. But I also love this Ravenclaw shade. Like, it is so, like, amazing. I think it's a matte with just glitter in it, but isn't that so beautiful? It'd be beautiful if you're, like, doing, like, a like a night out kind of look. We also have the shade Patronus. And that, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I should say, as I'm wearing this lip balm more, I really like it. I've never used a ColourPop like 4th Ray Beauty lip balm before and it's feeling quite nice on my lips. We also have this glitter in here, Forbidden Forest. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to use. I think I'm going to start with Patronus. I don't know why I grabbed a brush. I feel like I'm going to like using my fingers more. Yeah, but let's just kind of pat this on the lid a little bit 
and then take a clean finger and just kind of blend out the edges I do need to deepen up the outer corner now that I'm getting more into it definitely need to do that so um, I'll do that after I place the Patronus shade and then like I said taking a clean finger and just kind of blending it out a bit it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to do you know add some other colors and just you know have fun with it so um, I'm actually going to like I said deepen up the outer corner it's a little not working out for me so I'm actually gonna take the shade Gryffindor which is an angled brush and just kind of pat it on the out inner I'm sorry outer part of my eye that's a little better okay I feel like it's a little more balanced now that's kind of fun I'm gonna actually just take a fluffy brush and just blend out my edges here I could have definitely gone in with like a darker like brown but it's fun to play with these colors okay that's actually really nice so now that we put these colors on my eyes I want to take the shade Ravenclaw here and just gently oh my god <laughs> Okay, um, we're gonna kind of just keep that towards the outer part of the eye and just kind of like gently blend it. Kind of keeping the darker part towards the outer part of the lid, if that makes sense. But this is like hardcore. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to clean off my fingers here. Let's just say like that was like not what I was expecting. Oh my gosh. Okay, I might need a brush to like... Okay, let's take the same brush we were using. It's so, like, this eye looks fine. This eye, like, I got... I think I did a little too much, so... Okay, this is just a little bright, but... I don't know. <laughs> now we're just having fun with it. Oh my gosh, this blue fallout won't come off. At least I'm not going anywhere. Even though I'm not going anywhere, you can still kind of see the fallout here, so... Do your eyes before your face next time if you're going to use that Ravenclaw shade. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of the shade of Gillyweed, which is like a, this looks white on camera, but it's like a very light yellowy green. I'm going to take some setting spray here. And I'm just going to I'm gonna apply this in here. I feel like I'm just kind of being crazy at this time, like... Lots of finger blending today. All right, I'm gonna take the other side of the brush here and just get a little more on. Drop it right on the inner corner. There we go. <laughs> we have to do the lower lash line now and my dog is now awake. Hi. Let's just go back into Whomping Willow and I'm gonna place this on the lower lash line. So just doing a little, a little of this before we kind of get into any golds or anything like that. I should do a greenish look with this. It's very dark, grungy greens though, which I mean, I wouldn't expect any less from a Harry Potter like Slytherin color scheme. There we go. I'm gonna go into that same Mandrake shade that we used. Just kind of deepen it up just a tad. Now it's time for the fun. So I'm gonna take just a small liner brush I love this shade Golden Snitch. This is so beautiful. Oh, that'll be really fun on the lower lash line. I know this look isn't even that cohesive, but I think once we get a little liner, mascara, it's gonna look good. If not, it's just makeup and it comes off. So I'm gonna just pop this on the like inner part of the eye. You know what? I think it might be just a touch bit dark for what I want. So I'm gonna put one more color on. But this is very beautiful. I want something a little brighter that's gonna be like close to my inner corner, you know? So let's take the shade Floating Candles. This is a nice light golden champagne. And just taking a little bit on the tip shadow brush and just kind of going over the top of it. Brightening some things up. That's what we're gonna do right now. And then to highlight the brow bone, I'm just going to take the shade Lumos. Lumos? I don't even know how to like say this correctly because I feel like every time I say it, I sound funny. Lumos. It's like a white with like a goldeny 
undertone here. Okay, so let's talk about liner now. Each house has their own liner. So um, I should say right off the bat, these are the Graphics Ink Liners. They are liquid and they each, of course, have their own, you know, they have the animal sign just like the lip balms do. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. The Gryffindor and Hufflepuff ones are metallic. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so we have like a red metallic called Sword. The Hufflepuff one is called Cup. And then the Slytherin and Ravenclaw ones are matte. Now, the Slytherin one is called Locket. And then the Claw one is called Diadem. So what sucks about these is that they're all the same packaging. So it's hard to tell which one is which. And if you're not a Harry Potter fan like me, <laughs> you won't know which one is Diadem, which one is Sword, which one is Cup, Locket, etc. So that's like my main complaint. Like I wish that they had like either like a red sticker on the bottom or maybe even like a red cap kind of thing, but the, the packaging is beautiful. Love this like royal blue, but I really want to take sword, I'm sorry, cup and diadem. So cup is the Hufflepuff one. It is the bright gold. This is something I actually used to do like way back in the day, but use both a matte liquid liner and a metallic liquid liner, and I will show you. And then diadem is the dark navy. So we are gonna just, do that and I'm gonna show you just like a fun little thing that I um, used to do. <laughs> so we're gonna start with the diadem. I zoomed you like way up so you can see this. We're gonna do just a nice, These are. this is a very liquidy liner. The matte ones appear to be more liquidy than the metallic ones are. So I'm not doing a wing here. I need to like let this dry down. <laughs> These are very liquidy. And then right on top of it, it's like, right, I'm sorry, right above it, I should say, we're gonna take this bright, beautiful gold. And so you can still see the blue, but there's also the gold, right? I don't know how, this is kind of, this one is a little streaky. Ah, oh, that kind of brushed it. Yeah. This is quite streaky, so we're gonna do mascara. I think for my lips today, we're gonna do H. Granger and L. Love Good, just because we have a lot going on on the eyes, and my eyes are like slightly burning from that liquid liner. But that gold is streaky. I think the neutral is just like the best go for what I want right now. And then, of course, we can't not use the lip gloss, so just gonna pat like a little bit on. Okay, let's go ahead and do some mascara. We're gonna use Pacifica Vegan Collagen Fluffy Lash and then Tarte Big Ego. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is the final look. Overall, I really like it. I think it's super cute. Um, we have a lot going on on the eyes and I feel like my eyes look very big. <laughs> Just because we have a lot going on right now. But yeah, let's kind of go through it. The highlighter is amazing. Um, you know, I've tried this formula before. It's great. I highly recommend it. Lip balms. These are really nice. Do you need all of them? No. Um, you know, it's just because I really like Harry Potter and I like the full collection. That's kind of why I just bought the whole thing. Um, you definitely don't need them, though. You know, I would just say pick your favorite scent or house and go with that but they're fun and i like them the um velvet liquid lipsticks and then the lip gloss these are really great these are formulas that ColourPop has come out with before they're really nice i like the color gradient and you can also you know mix and match them and like layer them the lip gloss is a really nice just fun extra touch which i love liquid liners i think these might be the least favorite thing out of the collection 
just because I wanted the gold to be more than it actually turned out to be. Uh, blue liquid liner, like the matte one, is a little liquidy. We'll just have to see. We're going to try it again. But honestly, the palette, this palette is amazing. I love it. This is so good. Um, love the color scheme. Loving the blues, as you can tell. Um, you know, this is just about having fun. It's not supposed to be a perfect look. Yeah, we are definitely going to play around with this more. And that is it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts on this collection in the comments down below. Um, I do have more reviews coming. I bought the Sigma Alice in Wonderland palette. Um, I actually went to Ulta today and I decided to pick up the PSL Too Faced liquid lipstick. And then randomly enough, I was in Target and I saw the Elf Game Up collection on clearance for like 70% off. So I got three lip gloss masks, some pot eyeliners, the palette. Yeah, so let me know if you want to see that. And then I also ordered this from Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, the Hangover RX Pillow Balm from Too Faced. So we have some new stuff to test out in the upcoming videos. And then hopefully if I like the uh, Hocus Pocus 2 collection with ColourPop, I will get that. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think about everything in the comments down below. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.